Dame Meg called into question the direction that Papua New Guinea is heading, asking, what kind of country are we building for the future generation when women and girls are being tortured, abused and killed, and where families are saying nothing? Her letter outlined a number of alarming concerns that have already been pushed for by various members of PNG society and NGOs as well, which included instilling values into young men on the treatment of women and the manner in which PNG society at present views women and girls. A highlighted area in her statement was on the legal systems in place in the country, which have been designed as protection mechanisms against instances of domestic and gender-based violence. She said, the laws are part of our solution to protect those who are assaulted and attacked, but that is not enough. The responsibility rests with every citizen. She is calling on all Papua New Guineans to put in the effort as a society to act together in alleviating gender-based violence in the country, saying, we can be a strong and confident peoples, but it will take a whole of society effort for all of us to stand up and be counted. Recent media reports had placed Jenilin's partner, Bossip Kaiwe, as quite wealthy. That was a fact also noted by Dame Meg, and a highlighted concern with the statement, Power and money has bred a new culture of greed and entitlements in pockets of our society. People who walk all over others and are not accountable for what they do. From 1989 to 1994, Dame Meg Taylor was ambassador to the United States, Mexico and Canada and assumed the office of Secretary General of the Pacific Islands Forum in 2014, becoming the first woman to hold that post. She is also a former track and field athlete, having represented Papua New Guinea in the 1971 South Pacific Games. Dame Meg's call to arms against gender-based violence is the latest in a string of statements made by individuals and organizations. Hers is the highest profile voice yet who speaks of the issue and is pushing for drastic change. Jeremy Moggy, National TV News.